Welcome to MongoDB tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create the admin user and the application user in MongoDB. So I have a Linux system which is up and uh, running with the uh, MongoDB 4.2, I believe, and uh, we will be creating the admin user and uh, uh, so one of the application user, and then we will see how to uh, authenticate it uh, using the newly created uh, user. So what happens by default in MongoDB? Uh, let me first fire sudo system ctl status. MongoD. So you can see that uh, service is not running. So it is uh, uh, it's it's running in the active status. And what we will do now is if I try to log into the uh, Mongo shell, what I will say I'll simply say uh, M O N G O Mongo, and this will take me to the uh, Mongo shell. This is not one of the best way because there is no user authentication. There's no password provided. So what we are going to do, we are going to create an admin user and we will create uh, one of the application user and we'll see for the particular database how to do that. So first thing which we are going to do is let us uh, let us shut it down first. Uh, pseudo system CTL stop MongoD and now start the mongo mongod hyphen hyphen port 27017 hyphen hyphen db path and it's still in the default location slash where slash live slash mongo press enter and uh, you can see that uh, the daemon is starting now And let's open one more terminal. One more terminal is open now, and uh, we will log into uh, MongoD. Uh, let's say sudo su space minus MongoD. So I'm connected through MongoD user. Let's clear the screen, and then what we will say is Mongo hyphen hyphen port port number is two seven zero. One seven, and we are connected to Mongo shell. Now, what we will do is we will, if you say show DBs, it will show you show DBs. It will show you the admin database which is going to store the user credentials or user details. So, we'll say use admin. So this will be switched to, and then we will fire a command to create the uh, user. So to create the user, this has been taken from uh, MongoDB uh, uh, document. So we just copy and paste to DB dot create user, and then username I have mentioned admin. You mention it uh, anything which you wanted to have it, and what this will do, I will tell you. Just copy and paste it on the command shell. So what it is to doing is it's it's um, db is the keyword out create user is going to create a user username is admin password it will prompt and the role the, the default database role is user admin any database that means this particular user will be the admin of any database and this can read write any database so this is a super user password we are entering as let's say password only it is successfully created. Now let's do the next step. In the next step, what we are going to do is we are going to uh, shut down the Mongo uh, instance. So we'll say db dot admin command round bracket. Then in the curly bracket, we'll say shut down colon one curly brackets the route brackets and just say enter uh, spell mistake shut down and it is going to terminate the uh, the daemon which was running so it is it is down now now what we will do is 
uh, we will go to sudo vi slash etc slash mongod.conf we'll go to configuration file and under the security section we'll add a parameter or you simply uncomment this and mention a u t h o r i z a t i o n authorization enabled and just save it uh, let me give one more space uh, if it creates a problem yes save it and right and if we uh, start it now mongod hyphen hyphen auth hyphen hyphen port 27017 hyphen hyphen db path and then we will say where lib slash mongod let me see what is the issue uh, mongod auth hyphen hyphen port 27010 hyphen hyphen dbpath where lib mongo yes so i prefer to copy and paste because of these spell mistakes so this is working fine yeah now let's go to another window sudo su space minus mongo d and now we will log in using a user id and password and this is the way we are going to log in so we are saying mongo hyphen hyphen port 27010 hyphen authentication database is admin hyphen u username is admin hyphen p is the password which it will prompt for password is password only and you are logged in so this is enabling the access and now if we say show dbs this will show me the db databases now using this admin user you can create further uh, application user and uh, give uh, some some name to that so i'm going to create a user let's say it is app user and uh, we have a database uh, test and we are going to say we are saying use test and db dot create user and the username is app user and just give full permission on on the on test database so the role is read write so uh, it can do anything with the test database just say and enter the password password let's say i mentioned password only exit now let's see how can we log in uh, mention the uh, username as app user only and let's test it out we are saying mongo shell hyphen hyphen port 27017 hyphen u user is app user hyphen hyphen authentication database is test and password it will prompt for the password is password only and if you say show dbs this will show you only the test database so this is how we enable the uh, authentication on mongodb so i'll go through the step one again once again this is the link from where it has been referenced from the mongodb documentation you have to start the mongodb daemon uh, from the port uh, the the port which is mentioned and the database path then you start the mongo 
from that particular uh, port then you create the admin user you have to use the admin database because it stores all that information you use uh, db dot create uh, a user and then you mention the username uh, of your choice and then it will prompt for the password that this is the default uh, this is the database uh, or the mongodb instance level uh, role which is predefined which is user admin any database so this can uh, uh, admin uh, any database uh, it can read write any database then what you have to do is you have to shut down the mongodb instance and then you have to uh, to add uh, authorization is equal authorization is equal to enabled then you restart your mongo daemon and then you log in through this particular way mongo hyphen hyphen port if you if you don't want to mention that is fine but you have to mention the authentication database which database you wanted to log in so it is admin and hyphen u then you mention the username is admin and hyphen p is the password then it will prompt and you enter the password the same way we have created a user uh, app user then we have granted it the full access on test then we have logged into the test database using uh, uh, mongo shell and uh, uh, this is the way we manage the user create user uh, in mongodb environment i hope this is going to help and thanks for watching